One of the marquee names in the Canadian Football League, David Archer of the San Antonio Texans. Had a nice chat with him yesterday. He's excited with the progress this team has made this year in its third year in the league. He really is. He thinks offensively they are starting to truly find the chemistry. And he said that the bye week could not have come at a better time for him. He was having a little problem with the thumb injury that he had last year. And he said this was a great time with the hamstring injury and the thumb injury to both heal at the same time. Yeah, Archer has missed three and a half games because of those injuries. First down, give Saunders and Mike Saunders stopped up around the 48-yard line has a gain of about three as we set the offense for you they're saying Chuck Esty could be an all-Canadian this year and Bob Obilovich says this offensive line is as good as any in the Canadian Football League they don't have their top receiver Joe Kralik tonight Mark Stocks had a fine year for David Archer and company and he feels that at the receiving core is where San Antonio has made the best improvements this season. Second down, and Archer has an open receiver. There's Hess, pulled up by Greg Eaglin at the Argo 44-yard line. Great compliment about this offensive line is the fact that they give David Archer plenty of time to throw the ball. And when David has the time to sit back in his pocket and allow his receivers to work the zone, Bingo. Great perfection and pinpoint passing is exactly what David Archer can do best. Gain of 17 for Billy Hess. Archer in this offense rolled up 524 yards two weeks ago. And now Troy Mills with his first carry inside the 40 has close to five. Well, the Argos on defense. Jeff Cummins had that big game against Hamilton a week ago. And a touchdown on a fumble recovery. Donnie Wilson steady week after week. We should see Jermaine Younger at linebacker. He is back, and Greg Eaglin is returning from a turf toe injury, and Bob Obilovich says this is the most experienced unit he's had in the secondary all year long. Second and six, and there's Stock, and he is wrapped up immediately by Joe Fuller, and he'll be at least a couple of yards short of a first down. 29, Joe, Fuller. Joe Fuller, not that big, 5'10", about 185 pounds out of northern Iowa. Does an excellent job sitting back in the zone, making sure that everything is thrown down in front of him, and then a good closing speed and reacting on David Archer's throwing motion to shut that down short of the first down. And so Roman Anderson comes back for his second attempt in the opening five minutes of the game. This will be a 43-yard attempt. He's been perfect inside the 40, and from the 40 to 49, he's missed just one of 13. Just about automatic. And that's the case again. Roman Anderson has his second early field goal 